What it is, y'all. It's your boy Jif back here with the amazing Caitlin O'Connor. We're here at the Finder Talent House once again for another episode of Finder Talent TV. Gonna be hanging out with some amazing creators, doing some amazing photo shoots. Yes, I'm excited for today. Lots of things happening. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up while you're at it. Every subscriber gets a dance from me. Naked. No! <laughs> We brought Shelly in to give us some workout tips while we cook. And then we're gonna eat this after, right? Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, I'm Shelly Schulten and I'll be showing you five workouts you can do in your kitchen during this holiday season. Okay ladies, so for our first exercise we're gonna do jump squats and the form is like this. You push down through your heels and you accelerate through your toes, keeping your chest up and your core engaged. So I'm gonna go put the mac and cheese in the microwave for one minute and then we're gonna get rolling. Okay, so I'm putting the macaroni in the microwave and I'm about to set the timer for one minute. You ladies ready to do this? And let's do this. Great, four. Okay, ladies, how do you feel after those jump squats? Woo! Exhausted or good? Good. Okay, we're gonna go on to our second workout. We're gonna use the countertop in the kitchen to do incline push ups. So it looks like this, keep your elbows in and just bring your chest down to the countertop. We're gonna do 50 of these. Wait, 15, right? Five, zero. One, five? Five, zero. <laughs> bring your feet out, heels off the ground, elbows in, and let's start our push-ups. Okay, so we just finished incorporating our arms, and we're gonna get back to what girls love most, our booties. So let's turn around and face the countertops, and we're gonna do some kickbacks. Okay, so it looks like this. We're gonna keep our legs straight, raise it up, squeeze your butt at the top, bring it back down, and then bend your knee and bring it back up, squeeze, and bring it back down. And we're gonna do 20 of these on each leg. Here we go for two. All right, so another simple workout you can do at home is grab a stool or a chair and incorporate your abs. So it looks like this, you guys. You engage your core, lean back on your chair, pull your knees in, and push them back out while engaging your core the entire time. All right, you ready for this? Yeah! Okay, Woo! let's do it. <laughs> One, two. and we've grabbed a little food to incorporate some weight. We are going to do lunges. So step forward, bring your leg back, keep your core engaged and your booty tight, and switch your leg. All right, ladies, you ready? Good job, ladies, Woo! keep going. Woo! Two. Woo! these amazing exercises three times in the kitchen while you're cooking and you won't feel guilty about what you're eating this holiday. Over to you Friday. But does this mean we get to eat now? Yeah. Brownie! <laughs> Stay tuned for some dating advice from your favorite models. Time to eat? Let's do Mansion and Friday and I are leading a panel on dating advice with Lexi and Anna. Anna Sophia. What's like a good first date? Okay. Rock climbing is a really fun first date. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. I can see why, because you get to be fun and make a fool of yourself, I guess. And somewhere where you can be face to face and actually get to know the person instead of just going to the movies or going out with a group of people, you can't really get to know the person you're going on a date with. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of a traditional kind of girl. I like dinner just because it's like, if I go to dinner with you, I'm gonna find out if I like you in the first maybe 20 minutes of conversation versus if we go to like the movies, like you said, you don't really get to talk to somebody. And then after that, 
you can be fun and creative and, you know, go do stuff like... I, I went a really cool first date um, where I went wine tasting and horseback riding, so that was really Ooh, cool. that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> do not, do not go on a first date to Disneyland, okay? <laughs> because first of all, you gotta get picked up by the guy, you gotta ride all the way out to Orange County, like, you know, spend an hour in the car. What if you guys have boring conversation and then you're standing in hour-long lines at Disneyland amongst families so you can't even have like a fun conversation and it's just like by the second ride I was over it I was like all right I'm ready to go that was the worst first date I've ever had she was the most boring person oh no so if a guy were to slide into your DMs would it ever work what would what would it take for that DM to actually work or have you go on a date with this person would you ever do it he didn't even talk about the way I looked. That's what caught my attention. He noticed my fashion and my creativity, and he commented on that. And I was like, oh, he could be a friend. He's not the enemy. And um, then I was actually out kind of, you know, crushing on him. And then I just said, you know, screw it. I'll just meet up for drinks. And it was like casual, no pressure, and it was successful and it worked. I think uh, good things are having mutual friends. Uh, you know how the, the mutual friends show up First, definitely an updated profile, so you yeah. can show your girlfriends recent pictures of them to get approved. <laughs> and I think uh, just maybe a DM that's more casual instead of uh, maybe just you and that person that may make the girl feel uncomfortable. Maybe an event or inviting them to a party or a group group setting, something with friends that will ease the mood a little bit. So what is the worst thing a guy can do on a first date with? I think getting too drunk is not a good look. It sets the tone for a relationship yeah. and what you'll put up with. I think getting too touchy also. Like, I mean, if at the end of the day you're feeling each other, great, but if, like, you get too touchy too fast, it kind of throws me off a little bit. Like, no, like, is this why you asked me on a date? Like, did you expect to score, you know? Like, I think right now the social and political atmosphere in America, especially with all the rape allegations, I think if you just let the girl you're taking on a date touch you first, I think that's that's a really good idea for right now. Yes, uh, if a guy is rude to the people, like uh, the waitress or the Uber driver, that's something that I won't, That's not, I'm really not attracted to that. It's a character thing, so yeah. a guy has to be nice to the waitress and the bartender and all that jazz. Yeah, that's a great one. Maybe not showing too much interest because that can scare scare people away and girls you know make it we when we are confused we are a little bit more interested so it's good to kind of keep a girl on her toes not she too much oh my god, god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah not too don't show no interest but don't show too much interest because that scares scares people away I hope you found our dating advice panel insightful funny it's girl talk what do you want from me well, you can catch us here at the Find Your Talent Mansion every week for a new episode, so subscribe right here, or right down there. Anything, just subscribe.